Utah is a land of contrast, towering peaks and deep canyons, simple beauty and grand landscape, where vastness makes one feel small, where silence surrounds and inner thought becomes loud, where one finds themselves from being lost in awe. This is a land one enters with expectation but leaves with perspective. In our attempt to make life easy, we have also made it complicated. We have lost touch with simplicity and awe. Below this rim of towering sandstone, I have, if only for a brief moment, stepped into a cathedral carved by the very finger of God, where simplicity and awe become one, and perspective deepens with every dip of the paddle. Welcome to Below the Rim. All right, we just made it to a little dispersed site on Green River in Utah. And plan is this week to paddle the Green River through Labyrinth Canyon. So we start at the um, town of Green River and we will be paddling all the way through Labyrinth Canyon to basically the north entrance of Canyonlands National Park. And uh, yeah, we're really looking forward to it. Weather is super nice right now. We're looking at like mid 60s probably as a high for most of the week. Um, we might dip down to the 20s at night, but usually gonna be like mid 30s. So we're in for pretty sweet time and excited to see what this river and canyon has to offer.
right, well, we just crossed under I-70. Last sign of civilization we'll see for another 65 miles. And uh, yeah, we're fully in it now. Fully out, away from civilization. It's gonna be nice. Already the scenery's just pulling us into it. We just finished being at Crystal Geyser. It smelled like sulfur. I think we just missed it. It's amazing. It's probably, you know, a hundred feet from the geyser to down to the river. And it's all little ripples. You can tell it's full of minerals. It's completely reshaped this tiny swath of land. Um, very, very, very pretty. Very glad that we stopped here. guys it is a little after 11 right now we've gone a little over eight miles so several more hours still to go but we're stopping for a little little fuel get some food in our system and then keep paddling that's the plan Officially at the start of Labyrinth Canyon. 25 miles into the river since we started this morning at Green River. And uh, yeah, so we've got about five miles left for today that we're trying to get to. And um, yeah, it's been beautiful. The, uh, the scenery is stunning. Lots of beautiful colors. Um, it's just all very muted, like earthy colors. And uh, yeah, the riverbanks have been starting to get a little bit steeper. Still pretty flat over here on my right, but on the left, we're starting to get some big cliffs. You can tell we're like getting into canyon country now. So had some little teasers and uh, now it's looking like we're about to just be all in it. So pretty exciting, very beautiful. And yeah, we're pretty tired after 25 miles. It's only... It's only 2.30, so I mean, we've been cranking cranking some distance out. We started around nine o'clock, so we're somewhere in there. But um, yeah, excited to get to camp and take it easy for the evening.
Yeah. This looks somewhat promising as a campsite. If we can get back in there a little ways. Let's try it out. Oh yeah, that looks like we could find somewhere to camp up here. It's getting shallow though. Oops, uh, I guess that's where we're stopping her. <laughs> and then, uh, I don't know, you want to get out, hop out, and let's check it out? Cool oh, boy. <laughs> Man, all right. We're going to see if this will work for the night. All right, found a beautiful little spot, little side canyon, and uh, just like a stream that just like flows right up into it. So we're off the main canyon and just kind of tucked in. It's gorgeous. So I'm set up here for the night, hang out, chill, and just kind of rest a little bit. It's gonna be nice. All right, we just made it into camp and just set up 30 miles later. It's been a day, but we are glad to be here. And what a gorgeous sight. It's like, we've got leaves turning colors. We've got like canyons like all around us. It's just stunning. I mean, couldn't ask for like a more beautiful sight, except for like getting in here was pretty challenging because it's just all clay and it was very muddy. So it was really hard to get in here and stay clean. But besides that, this place is awesome. It's making some, uh, boiling some water now, trying to make some food and just kind of settle in for the evening. But we still got a little bit of daylight left and then, uh, yeah, get to bed probably pretty early and get some sleep.
All right, so morning of day two, we're camped here at Three Canyon. Yesterday, we covered 30 miles from Green River um, all the way to where we're at now. And today's gonna be a lot less taxing. We're really not trying to cover much distance each day for the rest of the trip. Um, we're trying to get just about 10 miles a day and uh, just kind of explore, hike along the way. And so the goal today is really Keg Spring Bottom. There's a nice canyon in here that we can hike and I think probably going to be some pretty good sites to set up camp for the night. So um, that's our goal, about 10 miles, nothing too crazy, a couple bends in the river, and we are fully into the canyon at this point. So scenery is stunning. No. All right. You just row us out of here. And I'm I'll paddle us out. <laughs> the mud in here is no joke. It's like it's crazy. It's nasty. <laughs> that was wild. Like the proven method. To do it. Yeah. So pretty. All right, so it's about 1020. Took it pretty easy this morning. Got on the water a little bit before 10 o'clock. We've already gone about two miles. Only need to go 11 today, so it's going to be a pretty pretty quick paddle relative to yesterday. And then we're hoping to just take it pretty easy at this campsite too. It looks like there's a canyon we can hike and just kind of explore. Really just take in all the scenery around us. But uh, man, it just keeps getting deeper and deeper. We're starting to really feel like we're in canyon country now, so we're in it.
here for now and then check it out. Sweet. I think so. Jeez, there's still more that like I just haven't looked at. I could look at this cliff alone many times over. Good morning everybody. This is day three on the river. We just had a great night on this little sandbank. It only got down to probably 45 or something degrees. Um, we both slept half out of our sleeping bags. We saw 10, 20, 30 shooting stars last night. Gorgeous night. Um, no clouds in the sky. Uh, we're excited for our little 10 mile paddle today. Um, and then we'll get to one of our most looked for, look forward to hikes.
lost the tea bag in there. <laughs> With the string and everything. Oh, I can smell that. That smells so Oh, yeah. It's good, that ginger. All right, we're a couple miles into the day. It's just after 10 o'clock in the morning. Today we're heading to Bowknot Bend. It's a seven mile bend in the river and it kind of pinches on itself. And where that pinches, there's a saddle that I think we can get up on top of. So that's our goal today is to kind of have a little side hike and then we'll camp somewhere over there. So we've got several more miles to go still, but we're making really good time. The wind has picked up quite a bit though. It's been pretty gusty. So anytime we get to a little bend where it <laughs> kind of slows down, it's kind of nice. But uh, yeah, another gorgeous day, stunning landscape. I mean, it just doesn't get old. It's crazy beautiful. Absolutely loving it. Low sun. Those feel nice.
it looks like on the map, right after this bend up here, where it really saddles out. And hopefully we can find the trail. Thanks. Yep. All right, we're here at Bonot Bend. You can kind of see where it starts to go behind me. Um, we have not found anything that seems like possible to get up top, but we're gonna kind of scout out a little bit and see what we can find here. Just popped up this little bar here. And lo and behold, a trail. See where it takes us. All right, totally lost whatever kind of trail it was. Probably just a bunch of game trails. But we decided to just kind of bushwhack a little ways, see if we can at least make it to the top of the saddle. We may have accidentally just stumbled on the trail. Definitely. No, no, right here. Oh yeah, look at that. That's the trail. All right. Oh, there's the. So we found there's it. There's another inlet right there. Uh, <laughs> all right, cool. So we are now officially on the trail, going to the top.
we can see this really nice spot that looks like it'd be great for camp. Still a lot of sun and uh, pretty easy access to some trails around here. So we're gonna go check it out, see if we can paddle over to it. It's just a little ways down. We just made it to our camp for the day and we're pretty pooped so getting a little bit of a meal in us more like just snacks and then probably set up camp and just kind of chill for the rest of the afternoon maybe do a little sunset hike or something i don't know there's a lot of options around here but it's a pretty sweet spot just taking it all in So to give you guys an idea of what we're talking about, about a seven mile bend in the river, this is Bonot Bend right here. We're camped right about here, right where it starts to bend. And we hiked the saddle that sits right here between the two sides of the river um, that kind of dips down between this plateau here and the main canyon wall. Tomorrow we'll paddle the rest of the seven miles all the way around the bend and basically be right where we were looking down on earlier today. Um, but yeah, our campsite just has stunning views. I mean, you've got a long corridor here of just canyon wall and then back this way, just some stunning scenery as well. So pretty pleased with this site and definitely excited to just take in the afternoon here. Oh, I'm not staying in. Oh. Here we go. Oh. Oh, it's worse than yesterday. It's like it running. It is significantly worse than yesterday. Well, we just made it back to camp. As the sun was setting, we were kind of just walking this trail along the river and after a while found ourselves at the base of the saddle again and the hike that leads up to the top. At the top, we just, we sat and watched the sunset, watched the clouds just change color and the sun just kind of disappear over the horizon and just like looking down at the river and the colors and, and everything, just taking in the moment, feeling the wind in our, you know, our face and just made me really realize like, it's so easy to miss the moments, you know? It's like so easy to just like rush through life um, that I often just like take for granted the little simple moments, little beauties that just like add something to life, you know? So this place is just, it's stunning. It's really just like, drawing me into that. I think that's a lot of what this trip has been about, is just enjoying the simplicity, enjoying the moments. I decided to hike up here one more time and get the sunrise. Absolutely worth it. Alright, 
heading back down. What a great way to spend a sunrise. It's just crazy because it's a seven mile bend in the river and up on the saddle you can see you know both both sides of the river um it's just crazy to think like we've got seven miles to paddle before we're down there but you just see forever the colors on the rocks as the sun rises are just brilliant and there's a lot of just it's pretty windy out there a lot of just like vegetation in the canyon as well that's just like very vibrant this time of year really really pretty i mean i'm just losing words to describe this place super super pretty super stunning absolutely love being here Good morning everybody, today's day four on the river. Uh, I just woke up at about 8 a.m. but Nathan here woke up at 5.35. Um, we only have about eight or nine miles to go this morning before we have the last campsite on the river. Um, seven of those miles will be around this massive knot of sandstone. It basically goes in a massive circle and we just have to go a really long way around it today. Uh, so that's us. Nathan's making a little quick breakfast and then we'll be on our way.
Yeah, this looks like a nice little entrance. Yeah. Let's see what we can find. As long as we can get all the way up there. Yeah. I mean, at this point, we can walk it. That's right. right. Really easily. <laughs> nice, okay. Yeah, it looks like we That's made it. Here we go. Oh boy. It's a deep stretch. We just pulled off here at Horseshoe Canyon and we're kind of scouting a spot for a for camp tonight walking this dried out wash creek thing and just seeing if there's a really good spot to like set up for the night found a couple tent pad areas further back but we gonna keep walking in because the canyon views here are pretty sweet so see if we can get a really good view and maybe just set up for the night All right, Levi, what's next? What's next? Lunch is next. Sweet. On the menu, we have tortillas, some little deli meat stuff, cheese, bell peppers, something else, carrots, hummus. It's gonna be good, I'm excited. I just take a little walk and kind of explore around camp and everything. There's this ridge behind us that I feel like we could get up on top of. There's also this hiking trail right here that I just figured I'd check out. Maybe it'll take me up there. Maybe it'll take me somewhere else. We'll see. And we made it, made it to the top. It's a beautiful plateau. I mean, just rugged desert landscape all around, views of the river. That is really pretty. Definitely a little tricky to get up here, but the views are worth it. It's just pretty gorgeous because you've got like, you're the two sides of the main canyon along with like two side canyons that split off the main, you know, channel. So it's kind of neat just seeing so much canyon all around you.
hey guys, we're doing dinner. Um, we did tiki masala sauce that we dehydrated and blended, more like Nathan did all of the prep for it. Um, some dehydrated rice and some chicken packets. We just got done with a little hike up on top of this thing. Uh, we found some cool rocks, and then we'll wake up tomorrow morning and finish out at Mineral Bottom. See you guys tomorrow. Morning, everyone. This is day five on the river. That was definitely our coldest night last night. Um, probably got down into the high 20s. You can see like some frost in places. We had condensation frozen in our tents and like little pools along the river that are kind of frosted over. So definitely starting to feel like November. Well, we've got about seven more miles to paddle today. And then we're out. Just kind of packing up camp right now, get a quick bite to eat, then we'll be on our way. Um, but yeah, what a stunning trip. As we've gone on, just, you know, at a complete loss of words for just this landscape, the beauty, um, just everything we've experienced out here. Uh, it's just absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Like, completely at a loss for words. So, just very thankful to have experienced it, been here. This place has definitely uh, left its mark on me. And uh, the word I can just think to describe everything is just complete awe. Just in such awe of this landscape. Yeah. Alright, All right, goodbye final camp site treated us well. Thank you. 